Hello folks. Well you know it seems from the suggestions that most have forgotten the CG balance plus power to weight ratio really has to work if these things won't fly under their own power. It was a chore to get the storm launcher balanced with the camera and rocket on it to make it fly before I launched it, but it did. Well my first idea and thought was to put the rocket on a nose on a dowel rod and pull it just like I was thinking before but I couldn't find a place to keep the exhaust from melting and especially with only two props I have left for a storm launcher. And since it's a perfectly good flying storm launcher, I've retired the idea and I'm just doing this other zipline stuff for fun. Of course, if you want to donate your SL and you don't care about meltdowns or whether it flies or not, I'll be happy to comply. Try again. Also, a word of caution is to make sure no camera person or anyone is near the landing zone or behind it. Now, this is just an experiment, not for everybody to do. Also, although the ST rockets are fairly safe, always have fire extinguisher and hose at hand. Well, after trying to fly that storm launcher, which uh, is like putting a mattress on the roof with a bungee cord, you get a little wind under it, wasn't going to go. I've done everything I could to try to get this. I know it has to be down the center line, the exact thrust. It's very difficult on these models, you know, for you guys to tell me, oh, I'll put it down the center line. Well, it's going to go down this line, all right, so let's give it a shot. It's, uh, well, let's go ahead and arm it, and we are armed. All I'm going to do now is set the camera up down at the other end. Ready to launch. Three, two, one, fire. One, fire! <laughs> 